And what's happening, and I've been a barometer of this in the last 13 years. I mean, you're looking at a man who spoke in Chicago to eight people, you know what I mean? I mean, no one wanted to know. But there, people are waking up. Why? One reason is this, the hundredth monkey syndrome. Every single person who wakes up and starts to question and starts to put a different reality and starts to um, see through the illusion, they are putting that knowledge into the collective unconscious. The hundredth monkey syndrome. And it takes nothing like half the people to do it to swing uh, people into another state of uh, possible reality. And what is happening is as more and more people wake up, when people say, well, what can I do? I'm just go public. Change your uh, uh, reality. You'll add that reality to the collective consciousness. And then other people that haven't been to an event like this or haven't read any books will start spontaneously accessing that knowledge and uh, spontaneously seeing things they have not read books about but can just see. And with this is happening now, all over the world, the hundredth monkey syndrome is starting to manifest as more and more people wake up exponentially, more and more with every passing week, as they start to see through the illusion. There is an awakening going on, which is gonna change this world from a prison to a paradise, um, and it's gonna happen in our lifetime. Because we are connected we can put this knowledge into the collective and make it access to everybody without having to do anything other than transform ourselves. And the cards, the house of cards are coming down. They're coming down in our lifetime and what we see now, and it's horrendous as this uh, thing seems to be motoring, it's in its death throes, desperate to hold on to the power over the human mind that it's had. Its days are over. We are going to transform this world from what it has been for so long, a prison of the mind, to a paradise by taking our mind back and manifesting a different illusion. That's all it is. Matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration. We are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There's no such thing as death. Life is just a dream and we are the imagination of ourselves. That is the key. What this whole manipulation is about is the manipulation of humanity's imagination of itself. Ordinary, no power, will create it. That's what they want us to believe. We can take our imagination back and know that we can manifest a reality uh, to express who we really are. Infinite power, infinite love, infinite knowledge, infinite understanding, infinite knowing. That's our destiny and all we have to do is remember it. Infinite love is the only truth. Everything, everything else is illusion.